and lastly to increase the complexion of the skin remove black spots and pimples the last one over we do in our homes also precautions it is very impo uh, important to uh, what precautions we have to take before uh, applying the lake lake should not be applied at night time one lake should not be followed by another lake over it because as the density and compactness of material increases it causes rise in temperature burning sensation and pain <coughs> before applying to particular part it should be tested over small area behind ear lobe a lake dried one should not be reused by mixing any solvent into it a lake should be applied lukewarm as the heat facilitates the skin permeation of the drugs fastly that is first procedure lake completes any query yeah yes can we use it for psoriasis and these diseases also yes and what is the churn that we use here uh basically there are many churns for uh, according to the disease uh, like uh, in leucoderma we can use shvitragan lake uh, uh it mainly it is made up of bakuchi cow urine these are the ingredients that are put in uh, in the lake and uh, for uh, uh, complexion of skin please the complexion of the skin we will use uh, rakt chandan adi lake uh, it contains rakt chandan manjishtha a uh, lot means all the herbs that are used to increase the complexion and uh, one famous lake that is the shang lake we will use it is used basically to reduce the poisonous effect of any insect bite etc or also to reduce the localized swelling like in knee joint pain we can use that the shang lake first we will apply the lake and then cover it with uh, arak patra you know arak patra yeah arak patra shang lake the shang lake the shang lake is there any specific the one shang. which you can use like let's say we can use trifla for yeah udhavartana that's yes. like regular thing huh. so is there any regular thing which we can use in all the kind of things uh even trifla is all uh, trifla is used uh, mixed with the honey uh, uh in the mouth ulcer okay or uh, swatik basam as uh, mean fatkari yeah ha hmm. huh. uh is powder form uh, uh mixed with the honey is applied on the mouth ulcer also so what's the most safest one which we can use in like almost all of them in jadis uh, and wounds and everything and in everything yeah. like common lake common lake common, common, common lake no common which we can apply everywhere like trifla we could do it in udvartana yes. and sesame oil we could do in like that one the is there any specific the shang lake is most commonest of all like in every disease or issue we can the shang lake yes it is safe uh, bishang or dishang the shang the shang the shang the shang and you have you have use a line care is taken not to extend the lepa over the normal skin what's yes. that uh, if we doing the uh, lepa on this any skin region means uh, if we use in any uh, skin disease okay yes. uh, we have to apply the lepa only on that particular region on that part okay, okay. so we don't have to extend that lepa on the normal skin okay. okay the shang is made up of what the shang is made up of basically it has shirish uh, tagar vacha उंड Uh, according to the medium. Okay, paste can be made either with the oil uh -huh. or the water. Ah, uh, generally, uh, if we have to use the lay for uh, in, uh, to increase our complexion of the skin, we can use milk okay. or uh, ghee. Mm -hmm. And if we have to use uh, uh, all these lay to reduce any swelling mm -hmm. or uh, in any disease, we can use uh, sesame oil. Okay. Can this be used in warts? W a r t s. Warts. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, will the warts fall off in two three days or so? No, not in two three days. That depends upon the severity of the disease. Because there is one medicine given by Ayurvedic only, which is called water silk. That normally removes the warts within two three days. Ah, that uh, again that depends upon the uh, ingredients that contains uh, the medicine. If we specifically use the medicine that made up of that herbs, it can uh, give best outcomes. 
He said we don't accept a lesion wala lap somewhere else. Why don't we do that? Uh, what? We don't extend the lesion area lap somewhere else. Why don't we do because that? Because in the lesion area there are uh, uh, in our area dosha are present. That is not normal skin. That is affected skin. Okay. Already that is be shaded skin. Okay. So why do we have to uh, spreading? Spreading them. Okay. So what is swaras? Swaras is juice, uh, basically uh, juice of the uh, fresh herbs. Okay. It is also used in the region which are visible only, or it is also used uh, which are not visible. Internal like swelling, internal internal swelling. Swelling. Okay, can use the lake on the swelling also. That can be extended. Yeah. That can be. Okay. Yeah. The meaning of karma. Uh, Arnal. Arnal is uh, fermented gruel. Uh, uh, that means uh, we can use some herbs uh, and uh, uh, some oil uh, and put it into a vessel and then uh, we will ferment it for a period of seven days, minimum seven days. And after that, uh, uh, that, uh, that Arnal is. It is a whole uh, new procedure, new uh, kind of uh, medicine. So lepa is something, it has particular technique or just apply okay. that thing? Although we learn it for sure. <coughs> so it, is there any technique to apply it? Just no, apply no. it. Just apply, uh, just apply it. Just apply it. Just apply it. Just apply it. And upward and uh, downward both directions are upward. Upward, only upward direction. direction. Just like a word now. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Shall we proceed to next? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So next procedure is next procedure is kaval and kaluj. We will learn it both together, kaval and kaluj. Firstly, what is kaval? Procedure of holding oil or de decoction in the buccal cavity followed by gargling for a certain period is known as kaval. And now what is kaluj? Procedure of holding oil or decoction in the buccal cavity for certain period without any movement is known as Gandhuj. So basically these both are same procedure but the basic difference only is that in the Kaval we have to do the gargling after, the, uh, after holding the oil or de decoction. We have to continuously move that fluid in our throat. But in Gandhuj we don't have to do any movement. We only have to hold that particular medicine. Requirement, oil for abhyang, heating apparatus, two feet long, one foot wide towel for swedan purpose, knee high chairs, medicated oil or decoction for cover as per the prescription, lip warm water, put a pan, one therapist. See operative procedures. Patient counseling. The patient is counseled about the procedure its benefits and any untoward effects. Procedure should be started after evacuation of the bowel and bladder and brushing the teeth. Preparation of medicine. A lipo medicine is to be used if heated to approximately 40 degrees Celsius. Positioning the patient. Patient is made to sit on a knee high chair with his arms resting on the armrest. Massage to the face and front part of the neck Swedan to the face and neck. Main procedure of cover. Patient is asked to take about 100 ml of lukewarm medicine or as much as he can accommodate in his mouth. He should gargle with medicine by moving it between the throat and cheek inside the mouth. By tilting the head slightly backwards and resting on a headrest, medicine may be gargled com comfortably for a certain period. Then he is allowed to spit out the medicine. That is the whole cover procedure. And the first picture we have uh, to prepare the medicine. The medicine is prepared. In the second picture, we uh, we will doing massage on the uh, face of the patient. Then uh, we will doing massage on the neck of the patient. Then. Uh, with the help of uh, any towel uh, which is dipped in the warm water, we have to do uh, mild fermentation, mild steam of the uh, neck and face of the patient. Then we uh, have to ask the patient to drink the medicine. Then patient drinks the medicine and hold uh, 
uh, in his uh, mouth uh, according to uh, his or her capacity and uh, in the covert procedure he have to uh, uh, gargle that medicine means move that medicine in, in his mouth mm -hmm. but uh, in the conduit procedure till uh, there the procedure is safe mm -hmm. but from there he don't have to do any movement in his mouth he only have to hold the medicine Main procedure of conduit, patient is asked to take about 100 ml of lukewarm medicine or as much as he can accommodate in his mouth. He should hold this medicine in the mouth undisturbed without gargling for certain period. By tilting the head slightly backwards and resting on a headrest, medicine may be kept in the mouth comfortably for a considerable period. Then he is allowed to spit out the medicine. Post operative procedure. Gargling with warm water to clear the medicine and taste of the medicine in the mouth. Duration. Till the patient develops following symptoms, we have to do gondouche and cover both. First, filling of the throat by oropharyngeal secretion, watery discharge from the nose, watering of the eyes. Benefits of cover to relieve pain, to relieve burning sensation, to remove impurities from tongue and denture, heal ulcers of oral cavity, cleans the oral cavity. Benefits of Gandush improves the strength of mandible, voice becomes more effective and melodious, nourishes the mouth, improves the capability of the tongue in perceiving the taste sensation, enhances appetite, prevents dryness of the throat by its regular practice, lips never develop cracks, increases stability of teeth and gums by its regular practice one can never one can prevent toothache by the use of gandouche there will not be any fear of developing dental hypersensitivity preventive measures <coughs> medicine should not be too hot or too cold patient should not hold the medicine above his tolerance powers uniform gargling to be maintained ati yoga lakshan in excessive cover, there is erosion in mucous membrane of buccal cavity, dryness, excessive thirst, loss of appetite, improper taste perception. So, uh, we don't have to ask the patient to hold the medicine uh, more than the uh, exceeding time. He should have to hold the medicine only according to his tolerant power. Otherwise, these symptoms can develop. Emergency management. If the symptoms of over effect produces, procedure should be stopped immediately. Patient is said to keep cold milk in the mouth to relieve the symptoms. Consult to your Ayurvedic doctor. Any questions? Yep. So you say he is supposed to keep it till the tolerance level. If his tolerance level is 30 minutes, then? No issues. One hour then? But basically, it's time period is uh, uh, 20 to 40 minutes. Uh, in that time, yeah. In that time period, uh, we have a watering of eyes, watering from our nose, the oral uh, secretion from our uh, in our throat. Uh, that uh, our capacity will die. The so muscle will get tired. Yeah. But isn't 20, 20 minutes, 40 minutes too much? According to the strength of the patient. Okay, but that some some will also in five minutes. Too boring to keep it for 20-30 minutes. Every life is boring. Try 40 minutes and you will see you cannot make it that long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you will experience in handle training time. Okay. And we can do it with uh, decoction and oil. Both. You can uh, both. both. With, with de decoction also, with oil also, with honey also, with milk also. Only honey. According to the huh. According to the severity of disease, but if uh, uh, you have to do it daily, hmm. uh, you can do it with uh, simple tilte or with the even simple uh, warm water mm -hmm. okay so in gandush you got to fill your mouth completely so there's no place to stretch yeah completely right. pushing the walls yeah okay and in this garlic in cover then okay yeah that makes sense and, and is there what what is one to take what uh, what precautions you need to take after this procedure after this uh, after doing this after no, no, no. there is no any specific uh, precaution we have to take. Like you can't eat something for a while. Uh, and we can do it at any time, right? 
in the evening night no problem um, mostly we have to do it in, in the morning in the morning and we can eat immediately after that not immediately like after past uh, yeah. yeah and for decalcification deca- right for tooth whatever we have yeah. generally what do we use uh, so that you don't have that calcification on the teeth uh this therapy is effective Uh, say we will take four cups of water and add a uh, uh, half spoon of trifla powder in it. Then we have to reduce the water uh, till it becomes uh, one cup. That is detoxing main method of detoxing. Uh, the uh, half which we will take, we have to use four times of water okay. and reduce it to one by four. One. That is the general rule. So we can also just take only oil. Only oil. Only yeah. Oil. Uh, but uh, that oil is also lukewarm. Okay. Not cold, not to cold, not to. Uh, and again, in this also, the heating should be indirect to the oil. Yes. Just like another person. Yes. Okay. After cover of the roots, the pH of the mouth is expected to increase or decrease. It's depend upon the medicine. Medicine that you will take. It's depend upon the medicine which is used. If the medicine has tikshna guna, this will create the acidic pH in our mouth. If uh, the uh, house are <coughs> having alkaline property, this will increase our pH in our mouth. Mm-hmm. And every time we do this, uh, before that we have to massage the neck and everything, yes. right? If we do a simple salt water, you can taste both. Then and, will and, uh, salt water has a special ca- uh, capacity that has lekhana property, scrapping property. If uh, there is excessive sec- uh, secretion in the mouth, this will reduce the secretion. If the salt water will reduce the secretion and also reduce the inflammation in our throat. So that's why we are uh, advised to gargle during in case of pharyngitis like condition. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so, salt water means, sir. so yes. what kind of emergency situations or what symptoms might arise? Uh, symptoms. Any These are the symptoms. Uh, if we do it more than our tolerance capacity, that there is a dryness, more dryness in our mouth, uh, improper taste perception. <laughs> Okay, low, uh, loss of appetite, excessive thrust, thrust we have. Because uh, uh, for that uh, symptoms we will do the, uh, basically we will do it that procedure. That we will get benefit from that, uh, bas- uh, the main procedure. But if we don't take precautions or if we uh, will doing more than our tolerance capacity, uh, uh, instead of giving us benefits, the procedure uh, harm to us. <coughs> and you how about the cold milk? Whether it should yes. be the, uh, yeah. kept in the free, uh, fridge? No, not, not the cold milk, milk or uh, <coughs> normal? Normal temperature. Uh, temperature? No, we can also use the, uh, no, more than, uh, some more than normal temperature milk. And how often a healthy person can do this? Every single day. Healthy person? Can do this. Uh, every single day. Every day. <laughs> we can alternate the uh, media. Uh, maybe on oh, alternate yeah. day, uh, maybe uh, today we will do it with hot water, tomorrow we will do it with uh, oh, sea yeah. some oil yeah. or and uh, on the third day we will do it with the three flood yeah. But basically if we are doing it for any therapeutic purpose, then firstly we have uh, we, uh, have to assess uh, what problem the patient has. According to that we will prescribe the uh, uh, herbs or oil or that for the procedure. <coughs> so last procedure is Akshi Darpan. Anyone, anyone get bored? No. no, 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 no. Break of five minutes. No, no, no. no, no, no. Okay, Shall we proceed? Yeah, yeah. So, last procedure is Rakshi Tarpan. So, basically, what is Rakshi Tarpan? It is the nourishment of the eye through the medicated snake. 
the snail basically which we use is grit, ghee. Indication, when a patient sees darkness in front of eyes, in severe dryness of eyes, feeling of stiffness in eyes, falling of eyelashes, medrosis, deviated eyeball, in extreme aggravation of the diseases of eye, glaucoma, conjunctivitis, difficulty to open or close the eyes. These all are the indications in which we will prescribe Akshita Tarpan. <coughs> Contraindications, <coughs> cloudy day, excessive hot and cold season, anxiety, physical exertion, when complications like inflammation, redness, severe pain, etc. persist <coughs> in the eye for a long time. Giddiness. Pre procedure. Patient is asked to lie down on his back in a chamber free from direct sun rays, wind, and dust. Patient is given mild fermentation with a cotton soft in lukewarm water. Main procedure. A wall of paste of powdered marsh pulses is constructed around both eyes. The patient is asked to close the eyes and over the closed eyes liquefied grit is poured and very slowly till the entire eyelashes are under the liquefied grit. The patient is instructed to slowly open and close the eyes. After the prescribed time is over, the ghee is drained out through the hole made near the outer cancer. The eye is irrigated by lukewarm water fermentation. So this is a picture of Akshi Darpan. These are made up of uh, marsh dal, udad dal, udad dal, pitti is made up of udad dal and after powering the grit we have to instruct the patient to open and close the eyes, mm -hmm. okay and uh, the oil uh, we have to power till the eyelashes of the patient are not uh, dipped in the grit properly. Post procedure, after finishing the main procedure, dhumpan, that is medicated smoke, is given to the patient. Then patient is advised to avoid direct exposure to excessive cold, heat, wind and shiny things. Period of retention, 500 to 1000 matras. So, what is matra? Matra is the time required for blinking the eye for one. So, in the modern time, one matra is equal to basically 1.5 second approximately. So, the retention time is 12 to 25 minutes according to the condition of the eye. Complications, features of heaviness, indistinct vision, excessive black cremation, itching, stickiness, dryness, intolerance to light, aggravation of the disease. Complications arises. What to do? What to do when a complication arises? Then what uh, steps should be taken? Complications. Firstly, we have to stop the procedure immediately. Okay. And uh, then, according to the complications, uh, consult to your Ayurvedic physician. Okay. okay. Yeah, suppose irritation is more eye irritation. Then what to be done? I can grab the collar and answer. Uh, if eye irritation is more, uh, then we have to use uh, cold any uh, cold thing to uh, for if eye irritation is more, a uh, uh, somya eye drop of the company companies. You can use the gulab gel. Gulab gel. Okay. It when is also made up of gulab gel, the somya eye drop. So we have to uh, do the sheet of chara. A patient develops a, a kind of uh, worry now. Yeah, we have, as a physician, we have to match that worry. Okay. That is basically our task. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And what's why this only? The atta is it has to be like. Uh, it has a uh, 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 wooden uh, sticky okay. binding property. Okay. 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 Right. 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 Okay. How important it is to follow uh, post procedure steps because you know it is it becomes very tedious for a person if, uh, after doing this therapy follow uh, post procedure steps. So how important they are. Uh, they are very important to follow the post procedure process also because uh, if we have uh, don't instruct the patient to uh, 
गोइन कोल्ड यू डोंट हैव टू गो इन कोल्ड वेदर और कोल्ड इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इवन आफ्टर अक्षी तर्पण देर इज एक्सेसिव कफ कफ दोष देर इज दैट इज रिमेन्स आफ्टर दफ्टर सीजन सो टू विशेट दैट एक्सेसिव कफ वी हैव टू डू द धूम पार्ट is that with open eyes or closed eyes this is with open we need to open the eyes and close yes, yes. what if we have to take with the our nostrils yeah that's fine i want uh, i'm asking whether it's with open eyes or closed open eyes open eyes open eyes yes. so first we pour the uh, oil on ye and then then need to open the eyes and then close it right yes. and what if it, uh, the oil and everything gets into your system so that's fine yes. it's not dangerous no How many Please times you should close and open the eyes during the process? Not any particular fixed time, uh, but we have to ask the instruct the patient. So according to the convenience of the patient, we have to ask him. Uh, and only one time we need to open and close. So what is the duration mm. of this period? It is basically uh, depends upon the Two disease. Uh, but if we uh, do it on healthy person, okay. then uh, uh, as I ask, five hundred to a thousand matra. so 500 matra is for healthy person so it uh, the time period uh, that we will convert 5 matra into the modern time modern measurement it uh, uh, will 12 minutes okay. so minimum 12 minutes maximum 30 minutes i mean if it's all about putting the oil in the eye then why not we just put the drops why just do all this thing uh if we put the drop that is uh, some other procedure that is ashtotan then what's the difference like anyways the oil has to go inside the eye na yeah So why not to put the oil like that? Why to just make all this inlet like powder? Like putting the oil is isn't it too much? Because when we put the uh, oil, uh, we will uh, continue uh, uh, nourishing the eye. Uh, uh, lukewarm grip. Okay. Uh, so the for 30 minutes the lukewarm grip uh, came in contact with the eye. Okay. So all the diseases. Uh, okay. Any particular grip we use? Peri triplavit. Triplavit. The commonest peri triplavit. 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 Triplavit.